The secret is in the sauce. And that's why today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to always make the perfect salad dressing. What up you guys, it's Christina and I am so happy to be back in my kitchen with you today because I'm gonna be teaching you how to always make the perfect salad dressing. It's one of the most frequently asked questions that I get on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram is how to make more dressings and sauces because the secret is always in the sauce. <laughs> Especially as us uh, Lebanese Latinas like to say, it's always about the dressing or the sauce. And let's be honest, whether you're making a huge delicious salad or a specialty dish, your dressing or your sauce can make or break your dish. So it's important to nail it each time so that you're really enjoying your food. Many of you know that I have been a raw vegan for nearly 15 years now, and I like to say that I have mastered the art of making delicious sauces and dressings. Pretty much every single night I'm eating a huge rainbow salad and every night I'm making my own delicious dressings. I never get bored of my dressings or sauces because I'm always mixing it up, I'm always using seasonal ingredients and sometimes I fall in love with a recipe so much that I will enjoy that dressing or sauce for a couple weeks at a time and then I'll move on to the next one. There is a very simple formula to follow so that you are always making the perfect dressing or sauce. And I'm about to show that to you in just a few seconds. But before I do, I just wanna let you all know that if you're looking for more raw vegan recipes, my Fully Raw app has more than 400 raw vegan recipes on it, which includes tons of dressings, sauces, and even dips. My app is available on iTunes and Google Play and I'll be sure to link that below for you. It's super easy to download and keep with you on the go wherever you are and even just to use in the kitchen. So if you haven't already, go download my app now and enjoy. So without further ado, let's get started. Typically to make any sauce or dressing, you need a blender or a food processor. I use a Vitamix blender in my kitchen. I love my Vitamix blender so much. It always makes the creamiest dressings or sauces. It's just a very high quality machine. If you're looking to find any of my recommended kitchen appliances, I have a brand new online shop on my website at fullyraw.com. Everything is listed there for you so you can go check it out. For this recipe, I'll be using my Vitamix blender. And here's what we're gonna do. Now keep in mind, there are so many different ways to make delicious sauces or dressings. I am merely sharing my formula to maybe inspire you in the kitchen. And I'll give you a few different versions so that you can mix it up a bit and always find something that works for you. As you can see right here, I have a few ingredients in front of me that I'll be talking about. The two base ingredients that I typically always have in my salad dressings are an acid and a fat. I typically consume a lot of fruit and juice in the day, so I consume my natural fats at night. Now keep in mind, I don't have any oils here on the table. For my acid, I'm gonna be using lime juice, the juice of two limes, and for my fat, I'm gonna be using tahini because, well, I'm Lebanese and naturally tahini is just my most favorite thing in the whole world. I love tahini. So for you, if you wanted to use a different kind of acid, you could use lemon juice or vinegar or any other type of acid you prefer. For your fat, if you didn't want to use tahini, some other options would be avocado, pumpkin butter or pumpkin seeds. You could use cashews. Any kind of nut or seed is an option here. Or if you want to have a fat-free dressing, you simply leave it out. So for me, I typically always start with the acid and the fat. The third ingredient that I typically add in is something salty, right? So I typically will add in pink Himalayan salt uh, or any type of mineral salt in there that I can. If you don't wanna add in salt, you can add in celery or even Swiss chard stems because those have a really salty flavor and sometimes they provide a real nice texture for your dressing. 
But for the sake of making this simple, I'm gonna be using some pink Himalayan salt. So this triad is the base of any good salad dressing. You can pretty much combine lemon or lime juice with any nut or seed and add salt and make the most delicious creamy dressing. And it will last a couple of days for up to a week in your fridge. Now hear me out, sometimes we get a little bored of that so we wanna mix it up a little bit. Here's how you give your dressing or sauce a little flair. I typically always love to use fresh herbs in my dressing. You'll see here that I have a bowl of basil. Now I love mixing up my herbs in my dressing, so if you don't wanna use basil one night, use cilantro another night, use parsley, use thyme, oregano. There are so many delicious and flavorful herbs that will bring life to your sauce or dressing. And all you do is simply add it into your blender or into the mix, a small handful is all you need. And if you want to take your dressing to the next level, you can add something sweet. And for the sweet component of this recipe, I'm going to be adding in orange juice. Now you can use any fruit juice that you want to add sweetness to your dressing. Uh, for instance, apple juice, you can use mango puree, uh, dates, coconut water. There's so many different options. Orange juice for me just adds that perfect Taste. It's like that extra sweetness, the perfect consistency. Doesn't make your dressing too chunky, but it gives it just, it's just the perfect thing to add to a dressing. If you don't wanna have something sweet to add into your dressing, some other fruits that I'd recommend would be tomatoes or cucumbers. Those will make your dressing a little bit more savory and they are still fruits that you add that will add that nice, delicious flavor into your sauce as well. Okay, so we've got our acid, our fat, our salt, our herb, our sweet, and the last and final piece of our formula that is optional to add. Now keep in mind, all of these are optional based upon how you wanna build your sauce or your dressing, but this one is really optional. <laughs> and that's if you wanna add some extra spice or flair to your sauce or dressing would be the spice. And by the spice, I mean something along the lines of garlic, or ginger or even jalapeno. Now, if you're new to making your own dressings or sauces, I would recommend starting with one that you try to begin with. And then if you're really a hot and spicy kind of person, you can try using all three. Now, keep in mind, for something like ginger, I'll use a small thumb. For something like garlic, you can start off with one and work your way up to two. Three cloves of garlic is too many for me, so I'd say max would be two sometimes. Um, personal preference. Uh, and for jalapeno, definitely a very small quarter of it because it can be spicy and remove the seeds and do not touch your eyes with your fingers after touching the seeds. Just a little tip for you from my own personal <laughs> experience. So here's the final formula. We've got our acid, our fat, our salt, our herb, our sweet, and our spicy. So all in all, this is a sweet, spicy, and savory dressing. It's oil-free, it's raw vegan, it's as pure as can be, and it's made from plants and herbs and all of the good things from this earth, and it will make your salad or any dish taste amazing. Now, I've given you guys replacements for any of these, and I invite you to try this at home. Tag me on Instagram, share with me your creations that you make. It's a learning process, remember? But I always find that I just have so much fun in the kitchen when I'm experimenting and finding what I love. So let's go ahead and put all these into the blender. Let's make this delicious sauce. I'm first gonna add in my lime juice. Next up, I'm gonna add in my tahini, and you will see that I have a generous amount of tahini here. And keep in mind that you can make enough dressing with a formula like this to last you for up to a week. So. I always am very generous with my tahini because while well, I love tahini, but it's okay to be generous to use it for a dressing that you're gonna save throughout the week. I find that it saves you time later on if you make a bigger batch. And if you don't wanna use fat, all these other ingredients here work perfectly. You can use an extra fruit or a savory fruit in replacement of the tahini or the fat. Next up, we're gonna add in our salt and I've got about a teaspoon of salt right here. <sighs> a fresh handful of basil. I love me some basil. I love me some fresh herbs. 
Next up, I'm gonna add in approximately one to two cups of freshly squeezed orange juice. Oh yeah, so good. Mm. Mm. Yes. And because I'm feeling fiery today, I'm gonna add in two cloves of garlic for my spice. Should I add in the other two? Should I do it? You know what, I'm just gonna do it because I'm feeling spicy today. All right, people, let's get blending. does this look oh my gosh the consistency is just perfect it looks so good and it smells so good about to have a taster here in a second just want to show you I have it in a nice little pitcher here that I'm sharing with you today but I normally put these in a glass jar or in a sealed tight mason jar um, and it will save for up to three four days sometimes a week but I typically like to consume my dressings immediately if you are like me and if everything is covered in sauce, then this might last a couple of days, right? Um, so with that being said, I've got a humongous family-sized dinner salad in front of me. I could probably devour this on my own, but for the sake of just sharing with you a little taster bite today, I'm just gonna, um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Did you see how I did that right there? That was good. I'm gonna get up in here. I'm in here, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the salad, I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat the salad. All right, here we go. Delicious bite right here. Mm-hmm, mm. It is so good, mm, 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 yes. If you've liked this video or found it to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what your favorite sauce or salad dressing might be. And please also hit the subscribe button because there is only more to come that I'm very happy to share with you. If you're interested in more raw vegan recipes, please download my app. It's available on iTunes or Google Play and I'll put the link in the description below for you. Thank you all so much for joining me today. It has been a pleasure and an honor to have you in my kitchen with me. I'm gonna go and eat the rest of this delicious salad and I hope that you get to go and do the same. Sending you all my hugs and my love and I'll see you soon.